بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about blower classification common causes, less common causes, and rare causes, and with some explanation to the causes, and with some examples. Hoping you like it. The global breaks are usually result the results of asbestos Exposure, a global thickening from any cause can calcify, maybe due to infection, hemorrhage, asbestos, account for the most global calcification. Exuberant global calcification, most commonly from tuberculosis. Associated lung or chest wall finding may be suggest underlying cause. CT more sensitive than radiograph in detecting a blower classification. We have common causes, this common causes and rare causes, but important. The common causes include the asbestos related blower disease and embyema and oxidative blower effusion. Asbestos related blower disease usually developed after 20 to 30 years after exposure, usually bilateral. Classification occurs in about 15% of patients, and CT is more sensitive than, than radiography for detecting of calcification. Characteristic location posterolateral chest wall between 6 and 9 ribs. Dome of diaphragm and mediastinal blower, particularly over the diaphragm. Diaphragmatic calcification highly suggestive of asbestos exposure. Unusual in abysses or costophrenic sulci. Associated finding subblower cavilinear obesities, parenchymal bands, rounded atelectasis to visceral blower. Thickening interstitial pulmonary fibrosis due to asbestosis. Here, a patient with just PA view with base makeup and multiple extensive blower calcification, giving the appearance of holy leaf sign. And we see here the blower calcification and the diaphragmatic calcification. Here, Another patient with CT scan, and we see blower calcification bilaterally here, there, and there, and on the mediastinum, and posterior and lateral chest wall of the blower. Here, Another patient with uh, bilateral blower calcification seen here with diaphragmatic calcification, and we see also in the coronal CT scan the diaphragmatic calcification bilaterally. And bilateral blower calcification with diaphragmatic calcification, almost always the result of asbestos exposure. In Bayima, usually unilateral, tuberculosis is the most common worldwide cause. Pulmonary finding of TB present in about 85% with tuberculosis in Bayima. Typically developed three to six months following primary infection caused by a rupture of subblural nadus of pulmonary infection into the pleural space. Thickening of parietal and visceral pleura 
maybe become sheet like or often extensive posterior laterally and it is a residual effusion in about 15 percent may lead to fibrothorax extensive calcification volume loss in affected lung restrictive lung disease compressive around atelectasis here we see chest BA with the extensive course of right blower calcification in a patient with a previous TB in Bayima. And there is also some volume loss with on the by with some volume loss and a slightly hyperaerated left lung. Here, the CT scan of this patient, we have calcification due to tuberculous embyema, and the calcification can be smooth or nodular, and not some pneumo, not the chronic pneumothorax noted here also. Oxidative pleural effusion, usually unilateral calcification, is this common than in Bayima associated pleural thickening. As adjacent pneumonia or other pulmonary infection may be present initially. Oxidative pleural effusion, a progressive to in Bayima in 10 percent of hospitalized patients, especially with baronomonic effusion, streptococcal, staphylococcal, nosocomial infection with the gram-negative aerobes and aerobes, and methicillin-resistant staph, or yes, up to one-third caused by anaerobic organism. Less common causes of pleural metastasis, hemothorax, pleural disease, and radiation induced lung disease. 90 about 90 percent of all pleural metastasis, about 90 percent of all pleural neoplasm, usually multiple can be calcified from the osteosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, sarcomatous mesothelioma, adenocarcinoma, especially mucinous type, lung, breast, gastric, and ovarian, associated with the pleural effusion in most cases, may have lung or thoracic lymph node metastasis. Here, patient with non contrast CT scan, we see extensive pleural calcification and large amount of pleural effusion from metastasis from uh, chondrocarcinoma. And here, uh, with localization, with gas developed after the diagnostic uh, thoracosynthesis. In this coronal CT scan, thick calcification noted on the left side from the osteosarcoma. Hemothorax, usually unilateral, blunt or penetrating trauma, iatrogenic, parietal and visceral pleural calcification late finding can become sheet like, often most extensive postural laterally varying amount of residual pleural fluid adjacent heel drip fracture suggestive of him automatic in nature. Here we see a axial CT scan after contrast pleural calcification with the pleural thickening on the postural lateral on the left side associated with uh, uh, blade-like blade atelectasis, linear atelectasis on the left base.
Blurodesis, high attenuation deposit, mimic blural calcification, usually adjacent to the dependent lung, may be identified. Variable degree of blural thickening and nodularity remain stable over time, may enhance with large amount of granulation tissue. Residual decoration of fluid is common. Here, patient with non-contrast CT scan, pleural thickening with calcification bilaterally after from talc uh, uh, pleurodesis in this patient with recurrent effusion. Patient has uh, recurrent uh, blue diffusion from yellow nail syndrome and you will see here the residual left-sided blue diffusion. Radiation induced lung disease, unusual complication of radiation therapy for breast cancer, lung cancer, or lymphoma associated with the pleural thickening. A small amount, a small residual pleural effusion may be present. Radiation induced lung fibrosis often present in irradiated radiation area. Here we see patient after IV contrast, axial cut CT scan, and we have apical pleural thickening with calcification from radiation for breast cancer, and we see also thickening of the soft tissue around the uh, around the apex and also involve the scapula from ostitis radiation. Less common causes. Fibrous, uh, rare, sorry, uh, uh, rare causes fibrous tumor of the blower. Single will define soft tissue abutting blower. 65 to 80% arise from the visceral blower. 20 to 35 arise from parietal blower. Fissural origin not uncommon. 50%, about 50% arise from vascular vertical and variable in size 1 to 36 with average size about 6 cm. Intermediate to high attenuation on an enhanced CT attributed to abundant capillary network and have density of collagen. Most ex exhibit intense contrast enhancement on CT scan and MRI, sparing of area of necrosis or myxoid degeneration. Calcification occur in about 7 to 25 percent and more common in large tumor and usually associated with necrosis. Blue diffusion about 30 percent. Parenchymal Baranuplastic syndrome can occur with hypoglycemia in 7%, clubbing of the finger in 4%, and resolved after tumor resection. About 12% of these fibrous tumor of the blower are malignant. Vascular vertical less common with malignant tumor and usually heterogeneous on unenhanced and contrast enhanced CT or MRI. Here we see large mass on the left side with a hypodense area with calcification and uh, representing uh, fibrous tumor of the blower, both to be. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.